Hello guys and welcome to your third Java tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial all we're really going to go over are more or less basic data types and variables. So anyways guys we all remember our fourth and fifth grade classes where they taught us about variables. So uh, right, a variable is technically a symbol or a letter that's used to represent a certain value. So this same concept is very important in programming. It's how we store data and how we manipulate it in uh, other ways, or how we change it. Uh, we can print it out, we can add two numbers together, so it's a very important concept. And how we declare variables is that first we put a data type. First we put a data type, then the name of the variable, then we set it equal to a certain value. So for example, one of these data types is int. And int, uh, if you haven't guessed, stands for integer. And after we write the data type, we can put i, which is the name of the variable, and we can set it equal to a certain integer. In this case, I'm going to set it equal to 6, because I feel like it. Alright, you know, <laughs> alright, 6. So now whenever we're, we write i in the code, uh, it references 6. So it's like i, well what's i? Oh look, I see int i, a variable i, is defined as the integer 6. And it's always going to reference this declara de declaration that we made here. Blah, blah. All right, so integers are fine, but when we when you want to get even more precise, you can have doubles. Now, what a double is is it's a number that allows um, other numbers to the right of the decimal place. So if you put it, if you put decimal values in an in integer, it's going to give you an error. But if you put them in a double, you you can do that with the double. You can put them to the right of the decimal place, not only to the left. Uh, yeah, that's really what a double is. Uh, and what, what the full the full definition of double is a double precision floating point number. And a floating point number is where the decimal point, is where you practically see numbers to the left and to the right of the decimal point. It's double, it's double precision, meaning we, ha we can have more digits to the right of the decimal point. And that was just kind of, you know, uh, FYI there. But anyways, let's let's move on. So anyways, what we can do with these variables, and I'm just going to create a few more integers for the fun of it, int i2, uh, 234, int i3, uh, 3, yeah, there we go. Uh, what we can do with these is, if you remember the command I taught you from the last tutorial, system.out.println, yeah, we can actually print out the sums of these variables. So really, we can just we can just write three plus six, for example, right? Now, if you run this, it's going to print out three plus six, which is nine. But we can also do the same thing with variables. We can do it with i and say i two, correct? Now, if we run the same thing, it's going to be six plus two hundred thirty four, which is two hundred forty, right down here. And really, we can do that with any with anything, any of these. And if if we change the original value of the variable, say if we change this to 7, it's going to automatically change that in, in this statement. So now if it's 7, it's going to be 241. So that, that's kind of like a handy, handy thing uh, to use. And by the way, we can add variables or numbers. Uh, we can also find their product, which is the asterisk symbol, their quotient, or divide them with this symbol, and subtract them with the minus symbol. Yeah, so this is the forward slash, I believe, that's the division sign. And, yeah, really those are some really basic operations on integers that you can have. And also, variables can not only be integers, which is kind of new, they can also be text. So, for example, we can have, uh, we can have text files, not text files, just strings of text. Hello, this is text. Yay. Yeah, yeah, okay. So anyways, string. String is another data type. And as you can see, we used it the same way we would have used any other regular data type. We put the string data type, we put the name of the variable, and now in quotes, notice, we have uh, uh, lots of letters, symbols, or text. So more or less, whenever we reference this S right now, so system.out.println, if we put S in here, it's going to print out S or this string of text. Now let's run this and see if it works. Shabam! Hello, this is text. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm liking this. I'm liking this, you know. All right, I see strings. 
I'm seeing numbers, you know, it's all all a nice mix. Now, guys, another another method uh, where we're for now we're more or less done. These are the basic data types, guys. As we come, as we uh, if we need any more, I'll explain them along the way. Just keep these three basic ones: an int, a double, and a string in mind right now. Uh, others will be explained along the way. And uh, yeah, let's get to this other print function I want to show you guys. Uh, System dot out dot print. Simply print. Now, what's the difference between print ln and print? Well, print uh, simply prints text onto a line. Simply just prints it. Print ln prints a certain amount of text, and then it moves the cursor down to the next line, or it starts a new line. Now, how I will efficiently demonstrate this is by doing this. I will use my lazy powers to show you guys. I'm simply copy and paste. Uh, print ln s two times, and I'll copy and paste uh, system dot out dot print s two times. There we go. Now let's let's see how this looks. Okay. Uh, shabam. Now look. So this first statement system dot out dot print ln s prints this statement. It goes to a new line. Print ln s yet again. It prints another statement. It goes to a new line. But then look, print s simply prints this text on the same line, and then we once again print it, and it doesn't go to a new line, but however, stays on the same line. So those are uh, more or less the basic print functions I've just showed you. There are a few more. We'll honestly go over them along along the way. I might do it in the next tutorial, uh, explaining a few more data types and basic functions that you guys need. Uh, although this is already a very nice basic. Uh, basic knowledge of uh, variables and functions well basic functions printing functions so anyways guys now that we've kind of you know processed the material I've given you here uh, I've got two challenges for you one of them is to simply uh, get this smiley face or kind of weird face printed out in exactly four lines of code notice exactly four lines no more no less the second challenge is to create a program that uses two variables, two integers, and finds their sum, their difference, and their product, and outputs this certain text. This is the first number, the second number, this is their sum, their difference, and their product. Anyways, uh, the, the answers or possible um, ways of coding these two challenges will be revealed in the next tutorial. Thank you for watching, guys. Try to review this information, uh, kind of get it down and complete these two challenges, I will uh, return in a new tutorial as soon as I can with a new tutorial. Blah, grammar problems. Anyways, guys, uh, com please comment, rate, and subscribe. I will see you later.